Hello friends and fellow creators, Eric here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a marbling pour uh, two ways. So I started with just doing a straight up dirty pour on this hexagonal canvas that I got at Hobby Lobby. I don't usually shop there, um, but I just knew that they had this shaped canvas and it was something I really wanted to do. So I went ahead and did a dirty pour and then I took my comb tool just ran it through the paints. Now you'll see that I'm just tilting the paint so that it goes through and just makes even bands. I was going for no cells in this pour and somehow I still got cells. That's just how it goes, right? But um, they're really tiny. They're not really that noticeable. So you'll see I got really geode-like bands running throughout this piece. And I'm super happy with the end result here. I'm just tilting uh, to get the result that I want. All right, and I'm happy with the way that this one turned out, I think. Just going through and making sure there's paint all over all the edges. And on to the next pour. So in this one, I did a puddle pour. So I'm pouring the individual colors into little puddles directly onto my canvas, just randomly. There's no rhyme or reason to this, so I'm taking individual colors and just putting them wherever I like. I actually really like this method, but I feel like I can't plan it as well as the other method. The colors I'm using in this pour are white, teal, a darker teal, gray, and black. No, there's no black. It's just the four colors, JK. So you see when I started tilting this one, I was like, mm, this isn't going to look how I want. I don't know. So I went ahead and put my comb through it again. I think this kind of ruined the control of the experiment. It was supposed to be like, you know, dirty pour versus puddling, but instead um, the comb tool just kind of directed the paint. But I think it still ended up being a really cool example of how you can use the comb to kind of get rid of cells and get that banded natural look if, if that's what you're going for. And then here I needed to just add some extra paint on the sides. I've been trying to record the process of everything I've been doing just in case something miraculous happens and I just discover something cool. But it's all part of just like the experimentation process and just figuring out what works best for you in your art process. really happy with the way that this one came out. I think I like it more. It looks a little more natural than the other. So here's a quick pan of all the pieces, including one I did with the leftover paint. And here are the finished pieces. I added some gold stencils to them and I absolutely love them. They are now in my living room. If you like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe or check out my website, ericmossart.com, where you can connect with me for commissions or original works and just sign up for my mailing list to check me out. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day.